Greetings everyone, Fru here, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to demo a platform that crossed my radar, caught my attention. PromBase. Now, what is PromBase? We're going to look at what PromBase is. We're going to go in and give a commentary about what this tool is all about and why I think it's such a fascinating product that has been built and is probably ushering a new paradigm as far as monetization around AI, image generation, machine learning, tech synthesization is concerned. Right here on the screen, we have PromBase. It's a marketplace for prompts for DAO-E, GPT-3, MidJourney, Stable Diffusion, and probably more. What exactly does it do? It allows you to look at images that have been generated by AI. If you think about Dell E from OpenAI that generates uh, images, these images have been generated by a prompt put in by a user. So this is just the one that came up to me at the very forefront. If you take a look at this one as an example, this is by Dell E. This is an image that has been generated by AI. But what is the prompt that generated this image? If you want to get that same prompt so you can generate the same image, then you can buy that. That's what this marketplace is about. It's very fascinating if you think about it because there's been the sentiment that AI is going to make the artist obsolete. It's going to get rid of artists. It's going to replace your jobs. But with the way human ingenuity works, when one door closes, another door almost immediately opens up with new capabilities. So the artist of tomorrow might not be the person who opens up their canvas to draw this, but it might be the person who has the linguistic knowledge to write the sentence or the prompt that can make the AI synthesize this. And that's how they can make their money. So what is art? Art now might just be writing, being able to conjure up what sentence would come up with this. It's fascinating. I have done some demos around NLP Cloud. If you haven't checked out the demos, you can check them out. I'm still waiting on my access to Dal E so I can do some demos around that. I'm also waiting on my access to Meet Journey so I can do some demos around image generation for that. I do have GPT-3 and I've done demos around that. But let's go in into the example that I have, which is NLP Cloud that also allows for image generation. Before we go into creating a prompt here, I, I was just reminded by a quote by somebody, I, I can't quite give the attribution, but he said something along the lines of, the person who changes the light bulb gets paid $5 for changing the light bulb. But the person who knows which light bulb to change gets paid $5,000. Again, the specific numbers don't really matter that much as is the concept behind it. So what does that mean for us as we're looking at, at this marketplace here called Prombase? It means the person who can come up with the prompt to generate this, if you find this image fascinating, that person deserves to get hit big time. This is where you're seeing the monetization coming into play. There is a lot of designs depending on your taste. I'm sure people, I'm not really into the NFT world, but I'm sure people could be using this to sell for the NFT connect collections. Going back into, into the demo, I was going to show here really quick. In NLP Cloud, it takes some creativity to come up with an image because you can look at this and say, this is trivial. I, I could do this. 
or you may say, what's the sense behind this? DJing or something? But if I give you one of those AIs and put you in front of the prompt to say, come up with something that's creative, could you? So let's go in here. Here's the default one with NLP Cloud, and I'm going to use NLP Cloud just because that's the one I have. So an oil painting of a fox in the snow. This is the default one. So it's going to show us a fox in the snow. There we have it, a fox in the snow. But let's say we had a blank canvas. Could we create something new and interesting? It's not as trivial as you think. The people who can come up with the prompts like this, in my opinion, yeah, I could see why it's worth something. Let's go in and say, and this is where you just get my blank mind in front of a blank canvas, but let's try something. Let's say US president. If we just do that, what does it give us? It gives us a US president. Not the most clear image, but it's a US president. Let's say a US president riding a white horse. Let's try that. It gives us a US president riding a white horse. Okay, let's try the US president riding a white horse across the Potomac. With each prompt, as we fine tune this, hopefully the image should get more and more interesting to the point where, while this is running, to the point where you can hopefully get something like this. I'm sure the person who prompted this did put some thought into it. Or the person who, who prompted this, that they did put some thought into all of this. So let's go back and see our result. All right. So this is a U.S. president riding a white horse across the Potomac. Okay, let's try the U.S. president riding a white horse across the Potomac in 1776. I'm sure you would imagine that the, the, the look of that should be different compared to this more modern look. So let's try this. All right. So you can see that as we get more precise with our prompt, the image gets more and more precise. Let's see, instead of 1776, let's do 1976. What would that give us? Oh, wow. I think this just looked like 1976. It's definitely different than the most recent one and different than the 1776 one. So there you have it. I've made commentaries about this whole idea of prompt engineering. As image generation gets more and more sophisticated, this whole capability of prompting is going to become a science in itself or a skill in itself that people are going to have to master. There's going to be a body of knowledge around that. There's going to be a discipline that grows out of that. Hopefully, paradigms will come out of that in terms of what to do or what not to do from a prompting perspective. And the people who get good at it and are skillful, that's why we live in a capitalistic based economy where you get rewarded for your skills. And if you can prompt things that look good and that people want, then yeah, you can, you can monetize that. Kudos to, to whoever is behind this. I think it's, a, it's ushering a new avenue for folks to get monetized. And it's not just for images, you can filter by. Gypsy theory. We know Gypsy theory doesn't do images per se. I doubt it does. But let's say you're looking for a prompt to there was one that caught my attention, LinkedIn post generator. So if you buy this prompt, this prompt will help you generate in seconds and engage in LinkedIn posts on any subject. If that's true, then yeah, maybe it's worth this amount of money to buy this prompt. Supposedly, if you buy this, it would give you the prompt, which you can then go into GPT-3 and then put it in. Very fascinating. I'm going to keep my eye on this and see how it goes. And this whole space of prompt engineering, 
It's something I've talked a lot about. It's something I think we're still at the infancy. As these tools get more and more capable, Gypsy 3, Dal E, you name it, we're going to see more and more of this coming up, opening up avenues for people to monetize their work. So I'm going to leave a link to this in the description below. Check it out. Prompt is a very fascinating tool that helps you prompt around that Eve, Meet, Journey, GPT-3, Prompt Base, and even Stable Diffusion, and you can search for different categories. Hopefully this was helpful. As always, uh, leave a comment below if you found this relevant. If there are topics you want me to make a demo about or give a commentary on, let me know. If there are people you want me to invite and have conversations around, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching. This has been Fro. I'll see you in the next demo. Thank you.